Terrain. This is a video about making terrains in Godot without wasting time. Terrains. Start Godot. Create a new project. Let's call this one Terrain Parade. Create folder and create an edit. Go to Assetlib. Search for Terrain. The first time you search it might take like a minute. Like nothing happens. It just waits. Click on Height Map Terrain by Zulan. Click download. Wait for it to finish downloading. Wait a little more. Don't give up on waiting. For some reason, we are not given the info how much the total is. Okay, it finishes at some point, about five megabytes. For some reason, there is a retry button active, even though it was a success. Ignore the logical fallacy and press install. Press install. Wait again. Press OK. You can find the add on in add ons in Zulan Terrain. Time to go to the 3D view up here in case you missed it. Time to create a 3D scene. So let's first save scene. Let's call it Terrain Party. Enter. So if you press the plus add child node in the scene widget and type in Terrain, nothing, there's nothing. You first have to go to Project, Project Settings, go to the Plugins tab and enable the height map terrain. Now if we press the plus and type in H terrain or terrain, we can add H terrain. Now we just need to change the data directory over here. Let's create a folder terrain terror. OK and select current folder. Look at that. We have a ter wow, big terrain. And this ring I guess indicates we can modify it. Yep. By clicking on it, you can the draw hills. So I'm just right click holding and then WASD with shift to move faster, with E and Q to move up and down in case you didn't know these basic movements. That's what I'm doing to move around and I can left click drag or just left click click to draw on the terrain but it's a bit hard to see that I'm doing that. To resize this terrain I gotta say for me this is a bit big simply press terrain and resize i'm gonna set it to 65 let's do that apply good enough for me Control z doesn't do anything yeah undo does not work so we can draw these cells of course and we can change the way we draw make the brush size bigger or smaller and also change the opacity to make it less extreme opacity to 7 brush size to 14 makes it grow much slower. Brush opacity to 46 makes it grow much faster. Unfortunately, there is no modifier key. Holding shift does not make it go down. Instead, we have to go to lower height, click that, or smooth height, or level, or flatten. Bam, we would have to set flatten height here. Bam, whoa, okay. That's, that's good to know. Let's set it to one. All right. Time to add some textures. So let's just download a bunch from cc0textures.com, for example. Here they are. Let's just extract all of them. I'm just going to rename these gravel, dirt, path, and grass. And let's add them. Okay. Godot decided to freeze a little. Well, there we are. Depending on the shader type, this can be a bit different. How to add textures, we're gonna just use classic for light. Let's double click zero and load all debo or diffuse. We're gonna start with grass, good old grass. Okay, that takes a bit and then it's done. We can also get a normal. That would be this one with normal in the file name. Let's press okay and take a look. Well, let's set the second terrain. This is gonna be dirt. Yeah, let's just take dirt. Open the dirt. Wait for it to load. Open the normal. That loads quicker. Okay, now we can paint the dirt texture. Again, we have to set brush size and brush opacity. I'm just gonna add a light, a directional light. Gonna move it up 
and also make it uh, look down just so we can enjoy our terrain a little better here we are let's wait that's that's not supposed to be a child of a terrain though okay now let's set up the third texture texture number two that will be gravel let's load the normal and let's paint a little and then we have a cliff fourth texture let's load path for that color normal okay and we can paint that as well and in shader params we should definitely enable u tri planner to make vertical textures look much better without with without with does not seem to affect all the textures though time to save the scene we can color the terrain using the color brush let's set color to red and just paint that just works out of the box it's strong though and not very clean to be honest but hey it works we can even make holes in the terrain simply by using this shovel icon we can also generate terrain if we go to generate and then just hit randomize we get all kinds of results of course we can manually modify these as well and hit apply once we like it yeah it's pretty nice even kept the hole and the textures. We can remove the holes by cut holes and then disabling draw holes. And then we can just restore what it is. These holes, by the way, are only visual. If you want them to also not collide, you will have to do some trickery with having a collider that when entered will disable the entire terrain collider, I guess. Now I'm just gonna add a camera. And now I added two physical shapes and let's see how they behave. Bumpity bump, bonk, boink, splash. And that's how you create a terrain in uh, Godot real quick. Enjoy all this kind of basic but also kind of advanced functionality. Have fun making games. Till next time, ciao.